philosopher, monk, the visionary, the problem solver, the most practical monk that we have seen in the recent times, Swami Someshwarananda Ji Maharaj of Ramakrishna order is no more with us, no more with us. This particular volume from which I am recording in, in brief only one article due to technical and per permissible reason. This particular volume, the title of the volume, it was published in 1996 February from Momota AMA Center for Indian Wisdom for Management, Ahmedabad Management Association. From the back side, I am reading in brief, very brief, about Swami Sumeshwaranandaji Maharaj, a monk of Ramakrishna order, a talent like him is never to be expected, say in 50 years' time. Those who knew him, they will always remember him always remember him as a marvel of genius and philosopher. Shami Someshwarananda is presently, presently means when the book was published in 1996, February. Shami Someshwarananda is presently the chairman of Vivekananda Center for Indian Management, Indore. He has conducted management workshops for more than 50 companies, including Tisco, Telco, Icar Motors, Torrent, Indorama, Kirloskar, and Maxi, TVF, Barros Welcome, Wimco, TCS, Indian Oil, Hail, Sail, NTPC, Reserve Bank of India, etc. He is also the editor of the journal Vivek Management. He has authored 31 books on various subjects and taught at nine management institutes. In this particular volume, this particular book, there has been 12 articles by Shami Sumeshwarananda Ji Maharaj. Due to the paucity, paucity of time and technical reasons, I am only reading <coughs> the first article by Sameshwarananda with great reverence and to communicate with the world the thought signature of Swami Sumeshwarananda Ji Maharaj. 
with prostrate name of the article is culture specific management number 1 culture specific management by shami someshwaranand in the last century shami vivekanand demonstrated that a nation cannot grow by imitating others and that every nation had to follow its national characteristics to grow later in this century dr jang notice psychologist verified this theory he called it collective unconscious a nation is to focus on its culture for its growth this culture specific is very important in the field of management <clears throat> the british school of management thought was the forerunner to the american management conceptualized by ford and taylor though the americans were basically europeans they had to develop their own system as their culture was different from that of the british whereas for the british loyalty is the most important factor to the americans it was the performance though <coughs> the american management has evolved over four decades after the second world war the japanese developed their own management style as the japanese culture is different from the american in the ancient world india stood foremost in industry and business our ancestors used to do global business with europe middle east and south asia today do we have <coughs> anything new to offer to the management world we quote maslo harzberg peter drucker deming juran tom peters crosby or implement kaizen mbo part or kansai why can't we contribute anything new to the world <clears throat> today india is a mineral rich country our labor is comparatively cheaper indian scientist doctors engineers teachers and students are world class yet we are a developing country why there are hundreds of 
B schools in India, that is business schools. Business today profiled 250 leading CEOs of Indian companies, that is chief executive officers of Indian companies. Of them, only 28 had MBA. Why can't more MBAs make either successful industrialists or CEOs? Is there any lacuna in the B-school approach? Perhaps we lack an appropriate management style in India. What does the Indian common man think of Indian businessmen? Many industrialists and businessmen are honest. Yet, unfortunately, people have misgiving about businessmen. Surprisingly, many businessmen do not believe that one can flourish in industry and business is an honest way. Today, the time has come to give utmost importance to ethical values in industry and business, how to make human values more effective in this field. Today, there are many professionals and industri industrialists who are great achievers, but unfortunately suffering from stress competition, jealousy, and psychological problems. Along with heart disease and diabetes. On the other hand, there are many who are contented and happy but are not achievers. What is needed today is a combination of these two qualities. One should be a great achiever and at the same time should live peaceful life. Indian ethos in management, that is IEM, can offer this blending. Why Indian ethos in management? I am number one. To have an appropriate management style in India to show how ethical values help in every aspect of industry and business, that is productivity, profitability, growth, marketing. Three, to show that it helps one to be a great achiever even while leading a peaceful life. This was the first article. This much I could read. Then I have to only mention the title of the articles inside this valuable, very valuable book for India. 
and to remain forever only the topics that is possible for me number 2 article is what is indian ethos in management three basic principles four ethical values pay better dividends five starting a business six self motivation seven managerial effectiveness eight gearing up a department nine restructuring an organization number 10 planning and monitoring 11 management training 12 placement and communication so i end here my communication with the world again i say this is a rare book difficult to get but if someone is still interested they have to search it in the ahmedabad management association ahmedabad management association gujarat it still possible to get a copy it should be kept in your cherished collection namo shri jyoti rajayo vivekanand suray sachit sukh sarupayo shamine tapohari ne om sthapakaya cha dharmasya sarva dharma sarupine अवतार वरिष्ठा राम कृष्णा ते नम यथाग्ने दाहिका शक्ति राम कृष्ण स्थिता ही जा सर्व विद्या स्वरूपांता शारदा ओम श्री राम कृष्णार्पण मस्तु